My name's Charlton and today I'm going to talk about the times tables. I've done two videos about the times tables. One was about the patterns, but this one is about some little tricks that you might not know about. Because you know the times tables have got six times nine is 54 and so on. But one or two of those little combinations are sort of fun. Let me show you these to start off with. The first trick's really nice and it's really easy to remember. All you do is you write down one, two, three, four, and now look at this. You put an equals in there and you put a times in there and you get 12 equals three times four. And if you check it, have a little look. We go three and then there's four and there's the 12. Look at that, perfect. Thing is, you can do this trick with four more numbers in order. So can you guess which four numbers it is? If you want to guess, pause the video. <laughs> and if you don't want to guess, I'll show you. It's this, look, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see it coming? It's 56 equals seven times eight. And sure enough, let's have a little look. Seven comes down here. Where's eight times seven? There's your 56. Neat, hey? <laughs> If I turn this round now, I'm going to show you a little trick which uses a number right in the bottom corner. 11 times 11, that's 11 squared, 121. This is really sweet. Let me just put that out of the way. We go 1, 1 times 1, 1 equals 1, 2, 1. Okay, so we knew that from the times tables. But now, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1. Of course, that's not on the times tables. It's too big, 111. But look what it does. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Yeah? And now we're going to go 1, 1, 1, 1 times... <laughs> I love doing this. Don't know why I just do. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 2, 1. In fact, you can try bigger rows of 1s and square them on the calculator and see what you get. See if you get the pattern. Isn't that super? Now this trick uses the biggest sum on the times tables. Look, it's 12 times 12 equals 144. But what's really neat is if you turn all the numbers around, it still works. You get 21 times 21 equals 441. That's a real sum and that's the right answer. I think that's dead neat. And what's even neater, there's only two numbers that can do this. Here's the other one. 13 times 13 is 169, and when you turn them both round, <laughs> 31 times 31 equals 961. That's the right answer too. And you know, I think that's really superb, because these two numbers, 12 and 13, have got that little secret thing that they can do that no other numbers can do, and I really like that. Okay, now we're going to look at some of the ways of remembering the times tables, one or two little shortcuts, and then a rather nifty trick. To start off with, we'll look at some of the obvious bits of the times table. Might be obvious, but it's still important. I mean, look, the one times table. <laughs> one times one is one, one times two is two, one times three is three. Yeah, it might be obvious, but it's still important, because if that didn't work, we'd be in real trouble. Two times table is all the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, ten, but you knew that. Ten times table, it's got all the zeros on the end, so ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. What we got? Five times table, always ends in a five or a zero. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Eleven times table, you get one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Trouble is, some of these other ones in here aren't quite so easy. So let's see if we can find some clues. And here's a brilliant thing. Look at the red numbers. These are all the square numbers. So if you multiply a number by itself, you get what we call a square. So 4 times by 4, it's the red number, and it's 16. That's a square number. Now look at 16 there. Look at the number there. That's 15. And come down that way, and that number's 15. Can you see the numbers either side on the diagonal or one less? And that works for all the square numbers. Look, there's 36. That's 35, and that's 35. Let's see what's going on. Pick a number on the times tables. We will have um, number five. Number five is a good one. Five times five. I'm going to square it, times it by itself, and it makes 25. Now, if I add one to that, I get six. And if I take one away from that, I get four. Six times four equals and it will always be one less 
24. Let's check that. Look, 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 4 is 24. Or if you like, the 4 times 6 is 24. We'll do it with another one. Let's just do this. What should we pick? We'll pick... Uh, let's pick 9. 9 times 9. Do you know this? It's 81. Where are we? 81, yeah? But then if I add 1 to that 9, I get 10. If I take 1 away there, I get 8. And it makes... Da -da, 80. It's one less. Look. 81, 80 and 80. One really cool thing about this trick is you can do it without numbers. Because look, we've got a square there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it into a rectangle that's one longer <laughs> along the edge and one shorter. Look, I'll do this. So I've made it into a rectangle that's one shorter. And then I'm going to put that on there. So I just chop that off. Think. And there I've made a square into a rectangle that is one longer and it's one shorter and look there's one left over it's exactly the same trick yeah. all the times tables are good for different things but do you know what the strangest times table is it's the nine times table and in fact you probably know this trick but if you don't you should do there's a very easy way of multiplying a number by nine and you use your fingers okay now what you've got to do is pretend that your fingers are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And if you want to multiply by 9, uh, pick a number. We'll have 4, 9 times 4. 1, 2, 3 and you fold that finger down and the answer is looking at you. Because there's 3 fingers there and there's 6 fingers there. 9 times 4 is 30. Six and it works with any number. Uh, let's have nine, nine times eight. So that's the eighth finger if I can keep that folded down. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven on that side, there's two on that side. Nine times eight is 72. It's a cool thing, but I'm going to show you something even stranger that uses a nine times table. Now, I hope you're going to play this trick with me. You might need a pencil and paper, you might, might need to pause the video or something, but please try and play the trick until the end because it's so neat. The first thing you've got to do is think of a number between 1 and 9, okay? Think of a number between 1 and 9. Pick any number, and then you add 1 to your number. Yeah? Have you done that? And then whatever you got, you multiply times by 9. Okay, so that's the numbers in the 9 times table going along there, if that helps you. Yep. Yeah times by nine okay have you got an answer good and now you have to add a one yep and now you should have what we call a two digit number you have to add together the two digits so i'm going to write add both digits now by now you should have an answer that's just an even number if you've got an odd number wind the video back look at it again you should have an even number and if you've got an even number you now divide your number by two so you divide your even number by two and you should have one number left okay you got one number left the last thing you got to do is turn your number into a letter so whatever number you've got turn it into a letter so if you've got say uh, number seven that becomes letter g but i won't help you anymore have you got a letter are you thinking of your letter okay when i count to three surprise anybody in your place by shouting out the name of an animal that begins with your letter a one two three and here he comes da, 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 da. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get elephant? I hope you did. I love that little trick. And this little guy, shall I say, he's been all around the country with me doing tricks to people, haven't you, mate? You have travelled. This elephant has been places. The reason it works, though, is because of the amazing nine times table. Do you know, I know so many tricks that use a nine times table. One day I might even do a whole video just of nine times table tricks. But the key thing that helps us is this. Can you see the nine times table here? It's there. If you add up the digits in any answer on the nine times table, you'll get nine. Look, four plus five makes nine. Three plus six makes nine. Seven plus two makes nine. And that's sort of how that trick works. 
Now, we've looked at quite a lot of the times table area, and you're thinking, well, I've talked about the simple stuff. What about the tricky stuff in this area? What I'm going to show you now is what I think is the cleverest times table trick. You can use your hands to work out any of the answers in this area of the times table. And what I've got to do, first of all, <laughs> I've got to draw all over my fingers. <laughs> One, two, three. Ta da <laughs> What do you think of that? You'll see I've numbered my fingers six, seven, eight, nine, ten on both hands. You don't have to draw on your fingers. I've only done this to make the explanation as clear as I can. What we're going to do is we're going to use my fingers to work out this part of the times table. In fact, I've printed it out here so you can see I can multiply any two numbers between six and ten just using my fingers, okay? Now, there's two jobs to do. What I'm going to do, I put that piece of paper there and try and make this as... Oh, the elephant's there. Hello, elephant. <laughs> try and make it as... Out of the way. You can go and sit there. Don't fall over. Right. Two jobs to do. Uh, multiplying numbers. What should we do? Let's pick some numbers to start off with. I'm going to multiply 8 by 7 because um, 8 by 7, we know that one is one of our little trick numbers. You touch together two fingers. It could be seven, eight, or I could do eight, seven. Doesn't matter which way around. I'm going to touch together those two fingers. I'm going to see on this piece of paper, there's a black line. I'm going to hold my fingers so that black line is just sitting on top of the two fingers. Now, the two jobs to do is, first of all, I have to work out the tens, and then I work out the units. To work out the tens, there's a plus there, so I've got to add up how many fingers I've got underneath the black line. That's simple. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five fingers, so that's five tens, and that's what I start off with. In fact, I'm just going to quickly write five there. Sorry, 50 to show I've got me five tens, okay? Bit hard doing this with dirty fingers and everything else. So let's put them back. Next thing you've got to do is at the top it says to work out the units, I need to multiply the fingers above the black line. I've got three there, I've got two there, three times two, yep, it makes six. So let's have a little look. Three times two equals six, and then I just add these two numbers together. Six plus 50 equals, oh, come on, be honest, 56. Seven times eight equals 56. Seven by eight, 56, and there's the answer. <laughs> How about that? I'll just show you a couple more examples just to show that it always works. Uh, what should we do? I'll, I'll do a slightly strange one. This one, I'm going to do 9 times 10. It's quite an obvious answer, you know it. But here's how it works. So I've got to twist my arm around. I you can see this. So the black line has to sit above me, two touching fingers like that. And first of all, to work out the tens, how many fingers have I got underneath the black line? Well, I've got all of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fingers. So that's nine tens, that's 90. Above the black line, I work out the units. So I multiply one by, ah, there's nothing there. One times zero makes zero. So in fact, there's no units. Therefore, nine times 10 just makes 90. Yep, yeah, all good. There's 90. I'll just show you one more because this one, you think it's going wrong, but it's not. I'm going to show you seven times six. Let me put those two together like that. Again, the black line just sits on top. First of all, to work out the tens, I count out the fingers underneath the line. So one, two, three. I've got three tens. That makes 30. And you think, ooh, seven times six, 30. So, mm, doesn't, but watch. Above the line, I've got four times three, and that makes 12. And if I add 12 to 30, I get 42. And that is seven times six. There you are. You won't believe it until you try it yourself. Do have a go, because I love it. In fact, I've shown this trick to loads of people, and they all say to me, that's clever, but how does it work? The truth is, I don't actually know. I'm sure somebody can explain it, but for me, I don't even want to know. It's just magic. I think it's great. Anyway, there's this video, and they've also got the patterns video, times tables patterns video. That might help you with your times tables as well. But in the meantime, for me and the elephant, stay safe, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.